Welcome to the stream. Uh, the game Dead Men Tell No Tales by Renegade Game Studios. It plays, I believe, one to five or two to five. It's something so like that. Two, yeah, it's go. probably two to five, though, I imagine. There's no specific two, single two player to rules. Two to five, ages 13 up. A little, an hour to a little over an hour. Yep. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing tonight, is playing Dead Men Tell No Tales. The objective of this game is we're going to be pirates. We're going to be crewing a ship that we have since kind of demolished. The ship is kind of set on fire, and there's a bunch of deckhands, there's a bunch of guards, there's a bunch of skeletons on board, and they're trying to make our life as difficult as possible. Not to mention treasure. the explosives. <laughs> the, the guards are going to be holding treasure, and we need to get those guards. We need to destroy them, gather the treasure, and bring them off ship. In order to win this game, we're going to need to do either five or six treasures. I guess collectively we'll decide the difficulty of the game. Would you rather guys do uh, an easy mode or a normal mode? Or normal or slightly harder, I guess. Scurvy dog, buccaneer, or admiral. <laughs> and we're playing, so it's either five or six treasures, or six treasures and defeat all skeleton crew. So I think we should do at least five or six. Which one do you guys want to do? Mm, hard mode? I mean, Regular? medium? <laughs> well, I like kill them all. Let's get kill six. Kill them all is good. You want to do six? Okay, Let's we'll do, do six. Six. We'll try and do six treasures We then. can do it. I'm going to move this. I'll have to move this right Sorry. <laughs> there. So we're we'll trying to do six treasures. We're we'll trying to get the treasure and trying to escape the ship. And when we're trying to escape the ship, it's going to be a little more challenging when we're looting because we can only do certain things when we're looting. So our the turn... is heavy, right? You got to carry it back. <laughs> our turn is we're going to revolve around three phases. The first phase is basically we're going to be uh, exploring the ship. And to do that, two, four, six, and eight of these tiles are going to start kind of off to the side. And we're going to be basically moving around, or placing pieces on the ship here. The ship is going to get bigger. I'm going to show you a top-down variant so you can see everything that's going on. But we're going to be placing down pieces, making sure entrances connect, just like a lot of other games. And then, after we place our things down, we're going to also be pulling from this bag here tokens and placing them on those ship locations. How's it going, Sarge? Hey, Sarge. Sarge, how you doing, man? And we're also then going to go ahead and go into our action phases. Each of us have a certain number of actions, unless you are, I believe, Alicia's character. She's going to have six, but everybody else gets five. And we'll be able to spend these or pass them all along to a player on our uh, left. And they'll be able to use our actions if we don't use our own. And we can do things like move, we can do things like collect treasure, to reduce the fire, defeat crewmates, uh, deckhands, I should say, and we can also battle skeletons and guards. And I'll explain all those when we start going on the top down. After we've done all of our actions, or choose to stop, then pass our tokens, then the next player will go. But before that happens, we're going to draw a card from this deck here. And this deck is going to reference the pips and color of die. So in this case here, all the fours of both color die are going to go up to fives. And if it was a five, all fives would go to sixes. And just like the game Pandemic and any other things like Forbidden Island and whatnot, at a certain point, which is at pip six, that location will explode. And that location explodes, it'll burn everything else around it, and it will remove itself from the game. In addition, there might be another symbol on the card at the very bottom here in which it'll say either that we're going to have new uh, deckhands show up on the board or that there are going to be deckhands that spread out around the board. Those things are going to reduce our movement, stop us from gathering treasure and whatnot. We'll have to remove those from the game as mm -hmm. well. And then after that, we'll pass turn. So simply take out tiles, use our actions, draw a card, and keep going from there. We each have our own battle strength, which is determined by our little character token here. We have our characters that all do different things, and we all have our own weapon, and we can exchange weapons from the stack over there. Um, now we have a handy dandy little explanation card for all the actions that we can do on our turn, as well as an explanation as to what happens when we fight and when we win or lose a battle, whether it be to guards or whether it be to the skeleton crew. I am five fingers tight, tightian. <laughs> when it drawing a revenge card, when I draw one of these guys here, I get to draw two of them and select one. That's so useful. Very nice. How's it going, Carly? What do you get to do? And Jade? you have a sword. I do have a sword. I get a plus one to battle right. forever. I'm Jade. I can eliminate two deckhands for each eliminate deckhands action. And I have a blanket, so I can lower the fire dice by two per turn. Nice. Um, one per turn. Lydia Lamore, this player has one additional action to use each turn. So she gets one of these guys. I am Whitebeard. This player's fatigue is one less than normal except during battles, and my item is the compass, allowing me one free walk or run action per turn. Okay, so you're fatigued by one less than normal. If you were to fatigue five, you fatigue four. If you fatigue three, you fatigue two. Mm -hmm. And that's going to happen every single time you do an action. That's really, really nice. And the fact that I can run and walk, I can move around the ship super quick without taking fatigue. No, no, no. Just because you can walk or run for free doesn't mean you don't take fatigue. It means mm -hmm. that you don't have to use an action token to walk or run. Yeah. 
You'll still have to use those tokens. Uh, so you'll still have to u gain fatigue, but you won't have to use a token one time per action. Which is I really figured nice. since it said free... It's then... free to use it, as in you don't have to pay the currency, but yeah. not free to not suffer the, yeah. pe the penalties. Uh, and so that's the characters. Let's go ahead and show you the top-down version of the game so you can see what the game looks like and how it's played. And we'll get into Dead Men Tell No Tales. Here we have our characters at starting at the ship and the beginnings of the ship. We haven't explored a whole lot yet. This is just the starting phase for it. And each of us has what kind of looks like a little clock dial here. That's going to be our fatigue on our board, as well as our character, our item, our action points, and our reference card. So you have all of our characters, you have the ship, you're going to have the tiles we place down, and um, you're also going to have the deck over here of bad things. Here's some exploding barrels. Once the barrels explode, we'll put these tokens on them. So how do we lose? Like, explain winning the game. Yep. Winning the game is very simple. We get six treasures, we escape the ship. To lose the game, there's a ton of different ways. If we gather all the treasure, but one of us dies, the game is over and we lose. Mm -hmm. If the explosion tracker marker goes from one space all the way to the skull space, then we also will lose. If we run out of characters once we have died enough times, we will lose. If we go to place a space uh, or a tile on the board somewhere and there is no place to place it, then we also will lose. And I think that if the might deck hands be, run out. Yeah, if we run out of deck hands, yeah. then we will There's also too many of lose. Them. Mm -hmm. Explosions, being overwhelmed being trapped, lo oh, losing a treasure too. If we need to get six treasures and uh, one of our treasures explodes, then we also will lose. So we have to be able to get all those treasures that we need in order to win the game. And the only way we would win is to get the treasures off the board. We start with four tiles here on the board and they have a random die allocation. I just rolled them and placed the corresponding color onto those spaces there. We started with a trap door and a deck hand on that space. And then we have the marker starting at one with all of our characters on the little dinghies outside the boat. You probably can't see this artwork very well, but there's little dinghies here and we're all kind of like crowding around <laughs> like, on the boats. Like, let's get it! <laughs> trying to get through this entrance. This is the only exit and entrance in the game board. Whenever we exit um, the game board, we'll reduce our fatigue by half, round it up, which is really nice. And once all the tiles have been placed out, the last tile is going to also be an exit, in which we'll use this little dinghy card here. And this mm -hmm. little dinghy card is going to signify another exit, which means we can leave from one exit and go through another exit. And whenever we do that, we'll hopefully cash a treasure, as well as be able to come back into a new entrance and get another treasure. Uh, that being said, uh, there is a first player rule, and I don't know what that is because I forgot, but it's not relevant that much. So I'll just go ahead and start so I can show you guys the basics of the game Dead Men Tell No Tales. How's it going, Josh? The first beginning is laugh at Josh because Josh loves pirate games and is not yeah, able to come tonight. Missing out tonight. I know, I told him sorry, not sorry. <laughs> uh, you're going to be, I mean, don't worry, it's not that funny. It doesn't look that fun, right? I don't know. I think I'm going to have a blast. Uh, the second thing you do is you're then going to take tiles from the top of the stack here. Now, if you're playing uh, the first turn of the game, you'll flip over two, but you'll do one at a time. So I'm going to take my first tile here, flip it over, and then I'm going to place the entrances, which have these little blue dots on them, somewhere on the game board. And I want to make sure that they attach to each other. So I'll go ahead and place that just like that, I think. Okay. And so they have little dots attaching to each other. Uh, then what you're also going to do is check the die. There is no die here, so it's mm -hmm. zero pips to start with. But if ever there is a die to be placed, it will go right here and it'll be, it'll be red. It's also going to be an exploding barrel of two. So if any point a die hits a pip of two, we're going to explode this space over here. This doesn't exist okay. currently. Okay. And we're going to take one of these barrels and place it here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is take one of these tokens out and we're going to place it on the board. And we're always going to place it bad guy side up. So this is going to be a skeleton. And if we kill it, we'll get a certain special treasure, whether it would be a Cutlass or a Grog. Cutlasses will give us more attack power and Grog is going to be stuff that will reduce our fatigue. We're well, going to take another tile here for my turn. And this is a four-way tile. And I will place it right here, I suppose. This is going to be four ways. Might as well make it easy. Uh, then we're going to take a red die and put it on the four side and put it right there. And I'll take a new token out. And I'll place it just like this. Nice. Ooh, okay. Okay. So that's all done. These are tough skeletons, huh? Uh, they're, they're, they're no, they're not that. easy. Okay. They're, I mean, they're but, okay, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so I place both of mine out. That's the phase one. And then phase two is I have my actions to spend. I have five actions, which you guys can see over here. When I spend them, I flip them over. And when I have no more actions left, my turn will be over. 
Another way it could end is if I choose to end it. Let's say I have one action left and I don't want to use it. I can give this to Callie, and she can <laughs> use that on her next turn. Regardless of whether she uses it or not, though, it'll come back to me. Okay? The actions are as follows. One, you can choose to walk, uh, which means I can move from one space to the next space. Um, and that's what I'm going to do to start the game off with, so I might as well start by showing you that. I'll flip this guy over, I'll move from my one space to my next space, and based on the difference of dice, uh, lowest to highest, uh, or highest to lowest, I guess it really doesn't matter, you'll increase your fatigue. So I went from a zero space to a five, which thusly is going to increase my fatigue by five. So I'll move this all the way to five, which is terrible. It means that I can no longer enter rooms with a five on it. Mm -hmm. uh, the next thing I could choose to do is I could run. Uh, and like I said, if I move from a five to a four, no big deal. Yeah. If I move from a five to a two, no big deal, and a five to a three, no big deal. It's only when you're going up. So if this was a, f a three and I went to a five, I'd have to increase my fatigue by two. Mm -hmm. Running is the same thing, but I can move two tiles. I'll have to suffer both fatigues when I move, and I'll have to get plus two to my fatigue in addition to whatever I have to suffer. So if I moved, if I ran, I went from here to here, I would increase it by five plus two more, which would be seven. Okay, and the next thing I can do is I can lower fire, which is what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to take one of my tokens, and I'm going to lower the fire by one. Now, normally, actually, probably Cali would be a better option to go first in this case because this room is so high. Mm -hmm. I went from a five to a four. I'll go from a four to a three, I think. And that way these are all very equal. Relatively similar. Yes. Yeah. Um, another thing I can do is remove a deckhand. So if I'm on a space with a deckhand, if I was over here, I could remove this guy here. Another thing I could do is I can pick up a token. If there's a token in the room, so if I defeated this guy here and there's a token left, like this cutlass here, and I was in this room here, I could take this token and I could put it on my player board. Mm -hmm. um, and it would be beneficial to me. If it was a grog, I would just simply utilize it for its benefit. I can rest, which means I can lower my fatigue by two, and I could also increase my battle strength by one. I would move the mark on the bottom space of my board and mm -hmm. increase it by one. You can only go up to four, and whenever you battle, it'll always go from its highest point back to its lowest point. And uh, the last thing I can do is swap an item. If I don't want to use my sword anymore, I can swap it out for a new item or from another player. And uh, we're always going to have one unique new item to use. But I'm going to keep my sword because it gives me plus one to battle. And I feel like five fingers tight is going to be a good guy to use for battling. <laughs> I've got two actions left. And I think what I want to do is... What do you guys think? I can go ahead and get rid of this guy here. You'd have to move and then get rid of him. Yep. Um... I could also sprint could, to this area, take two more fatigue. I could also reduce my fatigue by two. That might be good in case more. Well, we don't know. There's, there's not many high die right now, but um, could they could go up. Guy. How's it going, Jason? I think we'll reduce this by one more, and then I'm just going to spend one more, sadly, to reduce my fatigue by two. That's okay. what I'm going to do. I have no actions left. I have none to give to Callie, so my turn is going to end with me drawing one of these cards here. But because I am five fingers Titanian, tight, Titanian, I get to take one of these and choose which one I want to do. Do I want to make all my yellow dice spawn? Um, and I, uh, any blank yellow spaces spawn a die? Or do I want to make all spaces spawn a die? Um, and then do I want to have one of these guys spawn? Or do I want to have... Uh, the skeletons move one space closer to the players. And I think I'm going to do this one here. The yellow one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the yellow one is less damaging to us. So I'll put this in the bottom of the deck. Oh, no, put the, oh, choose one and put the other back on the deck. Oh, okay. It's not as Ooh. good. It's just better. Mm. So I'll put that there. Mm -hmm. Now it's yellow, so that means all the yellow space is already filled. No big deal. Mm -hmm. But the hatch here is going to spawn another one of these guys, these buccaneer dudes. If there's ever three there, it's, imp it's impassable. Mm -hmm. Impassable. Um, if there's two, you can't pick up stuff on that space. And that's it. That's all I do. That's my turn. I, I, I yeah. did my rooms. I then used my actions. And then I drew a card. So, Kelly, it's your turn now. You're going to have these two tiles to work with. Choose the top one. Go to the next one. Remember, we're going to be spreading this out. So we'll probably be moving yeah. our boards around a little bit. And um, you can't move down farther than this board here. Okay, so it's good to put the wall like on yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be a red four. Hey, Jason. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. And it's then, good to see you. Hi. And then I'm also going to pull a token to place on there. What do we get? The real question is, will we be able to defeat this on the medium difficulty mode? I yeah, don't know I don't for know. our first game. <laughs> it's a trap oh, yeah. door. 
So I need a, does it come with a deckhand? Yes, it does. Okay. Deckhand goes there. Next tile is a, oh, a barrel. Okay. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> do, do a barrel roll, Star Fox. Hmm. On that side. Maybe over here, so then we Maybe, could kind of Or you can do something tricky, I guess. You could do something like this. Oh, because it can't go there? Okay. It can then, go there. It's just that this explosion isn't going to yeah. do anything. And then that's a yellow die, nothing there. I can check the rules to make sure, but I'm pretty sure you can place that barrel there at no cost Oh, to us. and we've got a guard. Uh-oh. He's far enough away from us, though, at this point. <laughs> It's going to take a while for him to get to us, so. Yeah, all right. I think. Okay, now I have my five actions. So I'll be a little proactive. I'm going to slide this down a little bit. Yeah, because we can't go that way. Yeah. Oh, oh if, there's, if there's, sorry, it'll go to the next adjacent do door clockwise. Is what it'll do, Callie. Oh, it has to? It looks, if, if the powder keg can't explode through one area, it'll go to the next area. Oh, okay. So that instead makes of going sense. south, it's going to go yeah. west. It'll go to this. Okay. So this so maybe that's this not. Way. So maybe it's not a good space. A good best. I want to put it over here, I think. Then it would go here if there was a net, something there. I mean, okay. it's always going to explode, so it'll yeah. go here, and then if not here, it'll go here. Okay. So it'll explode this area. Ooh, I feel like I have to put it <laughs> somewhere, okay, though. No matter where we put it, it's going to have. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to use now, one action. Can yeah. the explosions... Yeah, and you can never place a tile below this area, so... Mm -hmm. it's can the deep. explosions damage the skeletons or the deckhands? No. Dang. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you we could technically, them. yes. I mean, if it gets if, rid of the tile. If it gets rid of the tile, it'll get rid of the skeleton or deckhand or well, the guard. But then we can't get the treasure. And if this is a treasure, which it does, this is a guard, we're going to lose that forever. Yeah. So. Well, like what I was meaning is like if this was here and she had placed it like that, if it explodes this way, would it kill the ones that are here? It destroys no, the this, whole tile. This goes up to three. But uh, yes. Yeah. But yes, it would, but it would also destroy the whole tile. Mm-hmm. And I believe it flips over too, which is nasty. It's not just it's not, not just, just gone. removed. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move. Use this tile here to Trying move. To way to possibly and the, make the green one work here. For us. This is a two, so I'll go up on the fatigue tracker to two. Yeah, it's in, this would be an, if this exploded like this, it would be impassable, and, and nobody can enter this room anymore. So we can't just place something. We couldn't place something on top of it. And then I'm gonna use another action to move again. And then I'll use an action to get rid of the deckhand. And for my ability, I can get rid of two instead of one. Nice. So those guys will be there. Clearing them all out. Ooh, I'm pretty close to the, the skeleton there. So I'll use... Hmm, I'll use these two to increase my battle. And remember, though, when you get into one battle, just That's one it. for Thank any God. one of them, uh -huh. you will use all of your bonus plus any passive bonus plus your die roll, and yeah. that will be the end of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm afraid he might come to me, so. Right. I That's think fine. Good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and probably he's a five. True. All right. Next, I'm going to be. I've used all of mine. I didn't. Sorry, I didn't give you any, Alicia. <laughs> I used all of mine. I'm going to draw the Skellig's Revenge card. And now we're going to place out die on ones that don't have a die. So we need one red and one yellow. Yep. One yellow here. So this is this gonna start at one at least. And here this is this one's scary though, because this one will has a power powder keg. And then wait, this is the skeleton move yes. one, huh? Okay. The skeleton yeah. move closer to to the closest, the closest person. player, yeah. So this one's gonna join me. And this one's gonna go over here. All skeleton crew tokens on the game board will move into an adjacent room and I'll always more move that? toward the closest pirate. Uh, yes, that's a guard. That's a guard. Guards so, never so move. It's good. Okay, so he they don't want into to my move. space. The game doesn't want these guys to move anyway. Not yeah. only are they guards, but also they want you to travel as far as you can to get the treasure to bring mm -hmm. it back. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they'd be coming closer to the exit, which would be perfect for us. 
Okay, and now it's battling time. Now as we soon battle. As, as soon as a character walks into a space with one of these guys, or vice versa, you will battle. And the way that works is... If you're in the same room, battle it before you do anything else. Uh, it never costs an action token, but if you're carrying a treasure, you have to drop it in the room to do mm -hmm. battle. Mm -hmm. If a skeleton crew moves into the same space as your pirate, even if it's not your turn, you must immediately battle. If a crew moves into a room with a pirate, or players will, uh, with more than one pirate, you'll decide which one you will fight. So, determine your battle strength, roll the black die, add any modifiers and, from your item cards and your battle track. So All you've right. got, I got plus two, two, and then you have your black die there. You need a three up. Six. Got it. <laughs> that is enough. So that's nine, and that will defeat this guy, and eight. he will turn into a cutlass. Or eight. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. If you would have lost, you would have suffered a fatigue equal to the difference, mm -hmm. and then you would have rolled the die, and you would have seen what would happen. Either the skeleton crew would retreat, or you would retreat. You would have to battle him again, or you could choose of your choice, and it has mm -hmm. that on that card. There. The handy card has all the what happens. Guards the do the same thing, except they don't move. And that's the end of my turn. Alicia's up. So she's going to have these two. So do one at a time. Serge is getting all the puns out right now. The tiles. The pirates we're exploring like the ship <laughs> where we're hoping to take treasure. Now remember, we might want to make a specific, we might want to go a specific route too. We might not want to actually go, like spread it out too far. Because if one space has yeah, a bunch of treasure and the other true. space is the exit, we're in trouble. We don't want to go too okay, wide. Okay, so we get a one red die. So take that first and put that there. And then you're going to take a token out. And you're going to put that on that space. Bad guy side up. And you got another guard there. Ooh. Another, another treasure. And then you're going to flip over your next one. And you can place it anywhere you want. As long as it's not below this edge, you can place it on any of the door spaces. Remember, if you, if you can't place a, tie, a, a, a door down, we lose. Mm-hmm. We want to leave. You want to go right there? Open area. Or do you want to do like this? Oh, this right here? No, the oh, no. under it. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Okay. All right. Take it two. I got it. And got then it. pull out a token. It's a trap door. It's a trap. A little deckhand. Oh, I got a pun before somebody else did in the comments, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I mean, considering we have that nice little delay, it kind of makes it easy. Okay, how do I get rid of the guy? Uh, so if you look at your actions, it says you can eliminate a deckhand, and that will cost you one. Oh, okay. So walking and running, you can lower fire, remove deckhands. So, you have to go in here. Yeah, so yeah, there's a door here. That's the that's, This is the oh. entrance. So you go through here, that's two fatigue. And you can okay. choose to run if you'd like to sp save an action point, but it'll cost you two additional fatigue. So you could technically go one, two for way. one token, mm -hmm. but it will cost you two fatigue, three fatigue, plus two, which is five. She's got an extra action, so. It might oh, okay. Be. So maybe it's not it's worth okay. it then. Yeah. Okay, so you have two. Would you like to move here next? Yes. So that's going to cost you one fatigue. And then you want to go here? Mm -hmm. That'll cost you one more. That's three actions? Yep. One, okay. walk, walk, walk. And then I get rid of the guy from one? Yep. You, yeah, these are all the things you can do. Okay. So you can lower the fire. You can rest. Increase like your battle strength. Increase my battle strength. If I use both of these, I It'll get It'll increase it by plus two. But remember, it only lasts one battle. Like Callie did, she got her yes. six plus two. I gotta two. get the guy. That's true. Mm-hmm. All right, and you have no actions left? Hoist up the Jolly Roger and draw a card. All twos will bump up. Oh, that's great. Oh, no. A three here, a three here, and a three there. Oh, there's a cost to having them all the same number, isn't there? Yeah. And then all of the trap doors will explode with little dudes. So one will go there, because there's this one, and there's nothing here and here. This one will blast one here, and also it will blast one over here. I thought it couldn't go higher than the number of deckhand there. Oh. Mm, let me check. Let me check. My first time playing, yeah, so yeah, we're gonna double check the rules here. I want to not be wrong about this. 
And so it's one. So this one is deck hands will spread out from all rooms with trapdoor icons that currently have deck hands in them. Deck hands will only spread out through a door in adjacent room. Oh wait, so deck hands will spread out from all rooms with a trapdoor icon that currently have deck hands in them. Mm -hmm. So these didn't have deck hands. We got rid of them. So this one did. That makes more sense because they have to be equal. They have to be equal to or ha have uh, uh, more than the space they, they explode from. So these guys don't have any deck hands. But don't worry, there are cards that will give deck hands <laughs> these spaces. Yep, there are. All right, and uh, that's all that happened. All the twos went to threes, which was awful for us, and then mm -hmm. we had a deck hand pop out over here. And now it is Nexus' turn. You'll take these two. After these two, that's it. Take We're only going to be taking one afterwards each mm -hmm. time. All right. I so. think Josh is coming. He's very excited about the pirate game, I think. Oh, yeah, he is definitely If, if you like the Forbidden Island and um, what's that game I really like? Fire's mm -hmm. Vitalon? Ooh, that's a single area. It's a single area Ooh. that's blocked off, so it's... Empty. That's okay, though. That's good. We want to get those early yeah. anyway. Yeah. I'm almost debating on sticking it here, just because this explosion will lead to nothing. Um, it... Well, they uh, yeah, can get a guard there yeah. or whatever. Yeah. That's true, but I think that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good, yeah. good one. Yeah, we put it that's here... a smart move. It's already it'll, blocked off it'll here. It'll block off. It won't... Yeah. So we'll take a three red. Happen. And then you're gonna take a little token out of the bag. We can have a Alicia be our official token ear. <laughs> Probably would be a good idea uh, considering she, of reaching across. She can be our, our dice and token leader. And I'll be our deck mates and exploding Skeleton barrels. of a three. So you know, big deal. Okay. All right. Next one. That's a four way. Ooh, maybe. You'll Family maybe. friendly now, Max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the most beneficial here because it connects and gives us some op gives us options for further expansion. And we need a token. Four. Token, Four. please. Shankles. By the light of Gondor. Trapdoor. This is a trapdoor. Which means no. I'll get my little guy here. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm hanging out. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a very explodey ship here, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we need It's not to, so bad, right? We need uh, to handle this a little bit. If we draw a three or a four, <laughs> it's looking bad. <laughs> what do you guys think is probably going to be the biggest issue that we're going to have is the, the red dice or the yellow dice? I don't know. Um, you know, we have a mixture of things we need to do, right? We can yeah. defeat these guys. I want this, by the way. Don't get this. Okay. My character already has a plus you're one You're already strike, a fighter. So we'll utilize Yeah, you're that. close by. You can get it. Um, but we want to destroy these guys, turn them into treasure. Picking them up and then bringing them back to the exit here. When we do that, that's one out of six. If we do that six times, we win. Uh, we also want to avoid having things blow up. If we have spaces blow up, it's going to be rather difficult to get to um, those oh, spaces. We'll have to go that we around. Need to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So reducing yeah. pips is very useful as well. Uh, making sure deck hands isn't too high is important because that'll start blocking spaces off. And um, exploding barrels, we kind of have to expect what's going to happen with them. They're likely to explode even if we don't want them to. So placing things like this is probably a smart move, hoping that we don't, of course, get a treasure there, which we didn't. <laughs> All right. Risky for benefit. So that's going to cost you three fatigue. Moving here cost me three fatigue, but, but I minus get one, one less. So for me, it's two. That's right. And then I can spend an action to reduce this die. Correct? Yes, you can. Yeah. So you already spent one to move. Yeah. It might not be worth doing that, though. Well, actually, it might be, because then that keeps these guys not in the same okay. number. Mm-hmm. So one action was to get on but the ship. I'm pretty sure it's going to cost us now, and it cost him, well, not him, but me a fatigue now because they're not the same fire level. You know what I mean? Well, when you move, it'll cost right. you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because it's lower. And that's, you know. Yep, when you go from lower to higher die, you have to take fatigue. Moves out of a room and into a room with higher fire level. Yeah, if, you, if your pirate moves out of a room and into a room with a higher level, your fatigue level goes up the difference between the two levels. Mm -hmm. So only if you're going lower is, is, is it okay. So there is a penalty for, go, for dropping something too low, mm -hmm. which is kind of weird, right? All right, well, then I guess I won't lower that further at the moment. Yeah, because if you drop this to a one and I want to go here, that's going to cost me three fatigue. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be moving here using my free... Movement. Once it's just going to cost you one fatigue. And then I'm going to use 
three my last three actions. Wait, two, right? He's got three actions. I left. have three actions. He left. Has a yeah. bonus with his compass. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I can move that. once okay. without the compass. Gotcha. Yep. And actually, would I have taken the fatigue for the movement, considering yeah. I have the minus one? Yes. All right. You, I got you. So you're gonna drop that down to one? Yeah, I'm gonna drop it down to one, so that way we can get onto this side. Okay. So you've used all your actions. Yep. And so you draw the Jolly Roger. A card from the Jolly Roger. Fours Oof. will go up to fives. Just that one. Just, just, just yellow. yellow. Just yeah. yellow. Nice. And then we're going to have explodey things happen. Yep. And, uh... The trap doors. Yes. You have to look at what happened when I they're next to sure each other. That, now, it's... Like I said, it says... Deck hands will spread out from all rooms of the trapdoor icon that currently have deck hands in them. Deck hands will only spread out through doors into adjacent rooms and only into a room that has fewer deck hands in it than the room with the trapdoor. Also, deck hands never spread out into a room with a tra trapdoor icon. So it has okay. to be fewer. So, so these are the it's same. just this one right here. Yes. I'm going to get one. And that would be it then. Yeah. Okay, so that wasn't that bad. All right. And it's now my turn, I believe. Mm -hmm. And we're going to flip over all of our tokens. You can do that at the end of your turn or at the beginning of every round. Sorry, I couldn't give you any of the extra actions, but I wanted to try to That's okay. I'm, gonna give, that I'm going out. to give Kelly quite a few extra actions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move. This is going to cost me one fatigue. I'm going to take this cutlass, giving myself a bonus of one. Mm hmm. Have a good night, Carly. Carly, good night. Good night. glad you joined us thanks for when you could. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Um, would you like me to reduce the value on this room? Well, I can do. I can do that. I know, but I'm going to give you action tokens. Oh, okay. You're not going to go fight the guard or skeleton. Get by the skeleton. It's that could be floor. another cutlass. All right. Um, well, do I want to increase my battle? But I have a plus two right now, and it's a four. I have to meet. I have to exceed or, or reach, or I have to exceed or reach that mm -hmm. number, right? Is that correct? You have, you yeah, that? you can be equal. It I says can, on here. Okay, I can equal be equal to. So or I only need to get a plus two to beat this guy. Yeah. So I'm not going to spend the action points. I'm just going to go here. I'm going to roll this die. Oh. <laughs> and this guy turns into Grog. Mm. Five Ooh. grog. Okay. Um, should I use that? I have four. You have four. So I can leave this here for somebody else to get. This is going to give you five. Reduce mm -hmm. fatigue by five. But they have to mm -hmm. go over there and pick it up. But right. it's only a one room, so it's nice. I'm going to try to kill that guy. Yeah, you want to defeat that to. guy. Does, should I leave this, this grog here or should I remove my four to zero? That's the question. Up to you. I, I don't, um, I won't hold anything against you. I was just asking <laughs> if there's a thing that you would like to do. That's all. Take my actions. I would say take, take the booze. <laughs> I don't think I need it just yet. I'm going to draw these cards here. I'm going to choose one of them. Dun, dun, dun. All the ones will pop up. One, two, three, four ones. Rough. It's going to happen eventually. Or these... Will spawn more. The trap door, door will spawn more of these things, and there's gonna be reds. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Okay. Because the next, these are both gonna happen eventually. Uh, so all the reds are filled, so that's no big deal. Mm -hmm. But the trap doors are gonna all spawn these guys here. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. I'm going over there. <laughs> and then there's one more over here. Yeah. And so removing these guys is useful because otherwise these spaces start getting uh, really full. Once really, they have three, then can't we can't them. enter them anymore. Okay. Okay. And that's it. I think it makes it obvious what I should do. Luckily, we know that on your t at the end of your turn, these guys will not spread anymore. We know that. Yeah. Yeah. That's what makes Five Fingers Titan an amazing character. I'll be right back. Continue your play. Okay. Oh, did so I draw a tile for my turn? I did not. No. I did not. <gasps> I almost goofed. Uh -oh. You did goof. Well, it's it's not going to affect gameplay that much. Uh, we'll we'll add, it will have to add in that red tile though. Mm -hmm. Three. This will. It go. can affect it. Here. And this will go here. 
And we check the card here. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Okay. There's nothing else that it affected. Okay. Instant replay. Okay, done. Now it's my turn. I draw this. All right, got yellow. Yes. Yeah, since that's a wall anyway. Three. Yeah, putting it wall to wall is actually not bad. And another guard. Ooh, we've well, got the, the guards treasure are pretty for spread out so far, but that's not a bad thing considering they're all roughly the same distance from to the okay. exit. Okay, I have some extra actions, which is nice. So I'll be able to, I think, one, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and get rid of this guy, even though there's only one. Then I'll use one to move into here. I'll take two fatigue. And then I'll spend an action because of my ability. I get to remove two deckhands. As soon as I come Sorry. back, you try and smush me <laughs> I'm out. I'm trying to get closer. You can move and closer and move like this. Well, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to... These are yours. They're spent now. Okay. I hope you use them well. Yeah. And then I'm going to use one. And for my item, I can lower a fire die by two ones per turn. So this will go to three. And then I'll use one more to move into here. And I'll get... Rid of just then, one? Yep. Get rid of these. And maybe even turn a three into a two wouldn't be a bad, bad idea as well. Uh, it would turn into a one for me, and I know oh. the next. You said the uh, next isn't one. Oh, it only once per turn though. Uh, the next one turns it. into one, so you don't want to do that. So this is once per turn, yeah. yeah. So maybe oh just, yeah, it would it would reduce it by one? Maybe. Or I could no, give remember it to this will turn into a one, and this next ones are ones, right? No, no. It uh, this is only once per turn. She already used it. Oh, already yeah, used it. Okay. Five to yeah. Three. yeah. Right. Okay. So then you're so gonna get that two. This one will go down to a two. Right. We don't. Two we, or Alicia. Mm. You can give that to her. She's going to try and fight the dude, so yeah. you want to give her more attack power. Oh, we'll put it down here so you know. All right, let's flip over the Jolly Roger. This is all the ones are going to go up. Yep. Two. 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 And this one's going to explode. Yes. So just, it's going to, Barrel's going to do this. Mm-hmm. This is going to go to a five. And okay. this is going to go over one. We're one step closer to losing. <laughs> All right, uh, that's it. No big deal. All the skeletons, did you move them all? Oh, this one's a two as well. Did you move all the skeletons? No. That will go there. This will go there. So that one doesn't explode too? Oh, it does. Yeah. Ouch. Can't be helped. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, a tile. A tile. I did like that, though. They made this guy a little closer so I can fight him. How's it going, Alex? How's it going, Kevin? Mm -hmm. oh, welcome, welcome, guys. Hope you're doing well. We're playing the game Dead Men Tell No Tales. It's kind of like Pandemic meets Pirates. Well, or Forbidden Island. Put that there. Yep. And a two on there. And then you're going to place a random token from the bag. In this game, our objective is to gather the loot. Six pieces, exactly. Escape the ship. Um, before the ship explodes, before the crew mutinies and destroys us, before mm -hmm. our characters die, before six okay. other ways we lose the game. I get rid of the guy. Nice. I would like to lower this. Okay. To two. And remember, going in there to fight is a free action. I increase my thing twice. <laughs> <laughs> And I move one. Yep. That that moving cost action still. Yep. Yeah. Fighting. Is Fighting is free. Okay. <laughs> the it fight is for free. Now. So, so now you're gonna fight. fight. You got a plus four to your roll. You need at least a two. <laughs> All right. Yes. This character is going to die, yep. and you are now gonna have one action left. You can pick up that treasure if you'd like. I would like to. Okay. So you have that action. Go ahead and spend it. This will go onto your board, but you are now looting. So while you're looting, until you get off of the board here, 
you sadly can only walk rest or swap items to walk is to move from one space to another mm -hmm. you ignore the space you're on and you will move and gain that much fatigue so you'd gain two three two fatigue as you went back to here mm -hmm. okay? okay you can't run but you can rest which means you can lower your fatigue by two for an action mm -hmm. and the third thing you can do is swap an item card if you don't want this anymore you can swap it with one of these guys those are the three things you can and do. And then remember when you exit too, you'll... Your fatigue will get cut. reduced in half. Yeah, your fatigue in half. Alex is asking if this is a reprint Thank game. Um, I... He's thinking of Flashpoint. Oh, Flashpoint Fire Rescue. Um, no, it's not a reprint. It is different than that game. But it does share a lot of qualities. I mean, you, you, imagine it's it's pandemic-based, right? It's got that whole explodey things. It's just there's multiple explodey things now. You have explodey barrels, explodey rooms, and explodey mutineers. So, yep. or, mm -hmm. or deck, deck hands. Yeah. So there's all the explodies. But yes, it's very, very similar to those type of games. I mean, it's 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 pandemic plus, I guess. Now we do a card, right? With yep. a better theme, in my opinion. Although, don't get me wrong, I, I do appreciate me some pandemic. Your card. And it has been an appropriate uh, type of game to play lately. <laughs> all the threes go up. Oh, that's not bad, right? Oh, what? There's so many. Three to what? four. What? Check for any explosion. What? No, there's no explodies. I don't okay. think. There's only, what, three, there's three barrels? There. And they're all over here. And there's a four there. Okay. <sighs> and and the skeletons, skeletons move. Skeletons will move one closer. Uh, and we can choose which one this guy goes to. Which, so, you know I have to fight this guy now? Mm -hmm. You will. Um... Oh, and this guy is all, as well is going to come to me. And I say between uh, me and Callie, I'd say we roll odds and evens on which the skeleton will go to. Um, you can decide. You can decide. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go decide. ahead and fight. Yeah. Here we go. I have a plus one, so I need a three. No. No. I'm going to suffer two fatigue. Then I'm going to roll the die to see what happens. A five. I have to fight again. A six. He's defeated, and he turns into a cutlass. Nice. All right. Alicia. Alicia, just take it on. Four. Yes. You did it. Nothing. No biggie. Cutlass. Okay. Well, it sounds like Max is scared to fight it, so oh, I'll fight it. Oh, <laughs> you know. I ain't scared. A one. Uh. You're going to lose two fatigue. Roll the die to see what happens. A two. That means you're going to, um, I think you're going to run away? Enemy retreats into an adjacent space. Okay. Choose a In space. Great. Well done. That's it. Now it's the next player's turn. My turn. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. What is this again? It's It goes here and it counts as attack. So I have a one attack now instead of a zero. But I actually have a plus two. I have plus two. Let me let me place so it. do I get to keep it on the next turn? You'll pick it up and you put it on your player board if you'd like. She, okay. You can't pick it up though because You're you can looting. only do these actions. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and also when you are when you have to fight a skeleton, you drop your treasure. Oh, so, she so yeah. she did drop it. Yes. Okay. So you can pick up them both next Yeah. Mm. That'll be good. All right. I'm going to put that guy there. It gets a two. Can I get a token, please? Looks like we have a skeleton. Ooh, he's a five. He's a big boy. Yeah. You're... This is not looking the greatest. All right. So for the for the crew, we have to defeat them at their level. Yes, at or above. Yep. It even tells oh, you yeah. on here somewhere, I think. Total battle strength equal versus, or higher. It's equal or higher. Yes. All right. So I'll use four to raise my attack. To four. Oof. Uh, All right. I will move in here as my free action, and I don't take the fatigue. That's correct. I will attack. Okay. My free action. So I need a three or better. Oh. Roll again. Yeah, it's literally yeah. on the side. <laughs> Look like it was gonna be a four too. Five. Nice. Five plus four is nine. Flip that baby over. It's and a then treasure. It is treasure. If you'd like, you could either take that treasure now, or you can remove the deck hand. Mm -hmm. Make sure you spend your. Remember, you can battle. take it on your next turn too. Yeah. Yeah. The deck hand's not really going to be a big issue. I'm going to pick up the trap. I'm going to pick up the treasure. All right. 
And that will be the end of my turn. So hoist the Jolly Roger. Jolly Roger is hoisted. Reds of one. Red ones. Nothing. 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 Yeah. But all of these spaces are now going to spawn. A deck A little guy. Oh, great. Is that all of them? Yep. That's all of them. Okay. And these are never technically covered. I have no idea why. I guess it's because you don't want to cover them with your character. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that'll be it for me, so... <sighs> My turn. It is your turn. Michael. Reset your tokens, everybody. Yeah. I have a few things I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to spend two actions. Action one is going to take this cutlass to make myself even... Oh, no, no, no! I'm going to not do any of that. I'm going to first take a tile. Yeah. Caleb's telling you not to drop the treasure. I think. Should I place this here? Uh, yeah, wall to wall. Do. Good. And you'll you get, get a one. one. That's and a give perfect me a token. spot for it. That's what I was thinking. It's a trap door. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Now I spend two actions. Action one is for the grog, because now I can actually bring myself to one, where it makes nice. this thing actually Good useful. Good to save that, then. And the other thing I can do is take this cutlass. Now my attack power is plus two, but plus three because I have a sword. Nice. Now, I can't get to here. I'd like to by placing a tile here. So if somebody can get a three three space so I can fight this guy for the treasure, that'd be great. Okay. But until then, I think I'm going to do something else. I think I'm going to actually move into the space here and reduce this. Or reduce this. So first you have to take fatigue. And I will. I'll take two okay. fatigue. Okay. And I am going to be... D O N E, and you can have my action. Thank you. Jolly Roger. Oh, I get to draw two. That's nice. Yeah. Fours or threes? Fours of all colors or red threes? Uh, red threes, there's none of them. And mm -hmm. I think this is the actual, yeah, I think this is the actual okay. play. The other one is fours of any, any color. Oh, sorry. So I can. Yeah, fours of any color, it. and then the trapdoor spawns. Mm -hmm. And this is the trapdoor explodes. So mm -hmm. this is actually the one to go for first. So exploding trap door because there's not going to be as much to, to explode. So threes of the red, there's none. None. And the trap door, which is here, will explode out. Um, so one will go here. Sad panda. No and no. This one here, it's got one. So it will drop one here. Oh no, this has a trap door. Oh, you're right, so it won't. Uh, so nothing here. Trap door will. S nothing here. Easy. This one is going to do nothing because there's no there's no deck hands on it. Mm -hmm. And then this one is going to pop one and one. And one more. And one more. Ouch. Because that was got, not gotten rid of. And this is not, okay, it's not a trap door here. We're good. Okay. I did get rid of that one. It came back. <laughs> yep. Come uh, the back. The cat came that back happened. the very next day. The cat came back. We thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. He just couldn't stay away. My turn. <laughs> You know that song? Oh, it's not three. I can't put it there, Michael. I'm sorry. But it's two, so you can... Well, I need to get through here as well. I don't yeah. want to have to go through the we gauntlet wanna... here. Um, I don't want to put it like, too far away either. Because what if we need to... You want to put it like right here? Yeah, I think I can, yeah, you can just move, move my character over a little bit. My... And then we'll have a three, and let's see what we get there. Oh, so many it's things. Skeleton. Okay, that's fine. Okay. We need to get Mike over by Callie right now. All of the attacks. I know, I should go start I'm going gonna... and killing these things. These are probably grogs, and... um. The higher ones are cutlass, you think? Yeah. Okay. It's a cutlass. Yeah, I don't have that's any a treasure. attack power. Right All now. the ones that are guards, I think, are these ones here. Okay. I definitely want to reduce the fire in this room. So once my first one, I can reduce it by two. I probably even should have moved into this room, if I'm being honest, to kill that thing so Kelly wouldn't have to. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's only a three. I failed against it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I do not account for your have... failure. That's my problem. <laughs> no. Just teasing you. Hmm. My ability is not useful yet, but I feel like I still might as well get rid of the deck hand here. This one here? Yeah. Okay. And then... Taking this back. Yeah. I don't want to move into there because it's a five. I, can't, I don't want to move into there. 
I guess I can either I can rest, but then I feel like I'm not doing a lot. Uh, I mean, what's there to do? I can either area? make myself. We need treasures, so. Yeah, but I can't go to the treasures. Well, you can pass your action tokens over. And give them all to Alicia, and she can get the treasure she has and move it. Yeah. Once she far. exits, her turn is done. Yeah. Yeah, but she can. How many actions is she gonna need? I have to kill these guys. Nope, you can't. You can't when you're carrying the treasure. But I gotta kill those. And you can kill one. Oh, you pick wanna... this up and then get your treasure, and then two. Or She'll need one. six actions. Okay, so I need to one, kill that, five. take that, move here, kill that. Um, well, well, you, you can't kill that. Then. You can do. You, should, you can do one, mm -hmm. and then you can do two, three. Four, five, six, and seven, and that would get you all yeah. the way out. I so think that's I need to leave one for her. So our, our main goal is to get those treasures. We've gotten yeah. currently a total of zero. <laughs> and I've got one, which I'm going to use to escape as well. Get out. Okay. I love it when a plan comes together. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so give her at least one. Yeah, I am. I'm going to save one for her. I'm going to move up one, and then I'll move into this one. Okay. That's going to be Grog, most likely, too, so you can fight that to get a Grog. Yeah. And then I'll get... I'll take two, though. Okay. It's all right. And then I'll spend my but plus one and fight this my guy. My fatigue will go down two, four, and two. Nope. That's what I needed in... <laughs> need to roll. So okay. you get a fatigue. Yeah. And then you're going to roll to see what happens. One... Um, Enemy retreat. So you want to retreat into my space? Yes. All right, and I'll, I'll fight it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I got a plus three. Yeah, you wouldn't let me pick up the color. Six. <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> okay, and now I have one left. Did you give her one already? No, I'm, I'm going oh. to. save I'm, I yeah, would say. I, I can get rid of the deckhand My... or reduce the fire. My fatigue will go down to four, four and two. Yes. Um, when you exit the like ship, to... though... When you exit the ship, you'll get mm -hmm. half of your fatigue back. Okay. That's why it's worth doing. Yeah. You don't want to go. You don't want to go up here and clear all that. Go back. Just no, ex too wasted long. actions. Too long. Okay. Are you gonna need to rest at all? You, you'll make it, right? Yeah. She's yeah. Be fine. Okay. Right. Then I'll I'll get rid of this guy then. Okay. What's this? Hers? That, yeah, I'm gonna right. leave this for Alicia. All right, all fours go up. So this will go to a five. Wow, look at all these. Look at them all. Five. We really need a, this space. Explodes. And it will go to... So this explodes. No, it's fine. Oh, that, this will explode yeah. this one, which turns this into a <gasps> six. Our first six. Oh, uh -huh. no. Okay, so this goes here. This goes up one. This guy will disappear. And, and this, this goes flip. off, and this is going to flip over. Which okay. means I can't get to this guy that way anyway. Mm -hmm. Not that I really want to, anyhow. I need to have at least these two rooms connect, if not all three of them. Okay. okay. Oh. Tile. Three. Wait, wait, where? A five and a one, right? Yeah. At least you got a two. I mean, I but it's a corner. I'd rather I'd rather there's something be here on my turn than nothing. But I have we have two but more tiles we, left to pull from. I don't think we can put that there because that. Oh, because the. Because of that. Because they have to, all three doors have to match. Yeah, Isn't can I don't you? think all no? three doors uh -uh. have to match. It's just you can't go through it then. Tile placement. Oh, you can't do that. You're right. You can't. Okay. So you have to get a three or four there. Put that there. There you go. And then put a two there. Ooh, that's 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 rough right there. I'm hoping I can pull a three for you. 
Skeleton. No, skeleton. All right. Okay. I remove this. Yeah. I take this. Pick up the treasure. And now start moving. Two fatigue, Carolyn. Five fatigue. Two fatigue. And the last one. She's Yay! Off the chip. We have one treasure. And now you'll reduce half, round it up. So six or seven. So you'll go seven. to seven. Yeah. No, you reduced by half, round it up. Yeah, 13 oh. divided by half, round it up is seven. 13. No. Oh, no, it goes to six. Six. She 14. gets back half, round it up. Oh, gets back half, round it up. Yeah. Okay. Recovers, recovers. That's the word. And now the, the card is two and an explosion of the deck. So first, no, wait, first do the twos. Do it in order. Oh. Three. Because we got to check for bombs. Oh, is it just red threes? Huh? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's red threes. twos. Only red. This one. No. Okay, so this is going to explode. Yep. And it's going to explode then this room. So this will go up to three. And this will go up one. Oof. And now the trap doors. So any trap door that has deck hands on it is going to place them around it, not exceeding the number that's our, that's on the tile. I tie. think that's going to be the only one. Okay, because I got rid of a lot of these. All yeah. right. All right. Not terrible, but not great. Okay, don't forget to <laughs> give have, her her token back. We have one. All right, Mikey, we got lucky okay. here. We only have Yay. two more things that can blow up, huh? Yeah. How many more crates are left to blow up, to blow up? There's one here, and which is gonna blow up, and one here. Oh my gosh! And then we have two fives, one here and one here. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. We're gonna die. Oh, no. <laughs> There's another five. Yeah, oh, on you're that. on a five. I can reduce. I'm that on a though. five too. All right, so. I can get treasure off the ship, or I can try to help reduce some of your guys' stuff. What do you, you want me to do? You already have treasure you, with you? I have then treasure you Then have you to need to, move. You, have you to can move. move. Yeah. So I'm going to move. You have no choice. Rest or swap. Two. Take one fatigue. And then I will move off one. Wait, how'd you move two? With so your ability? I ran. You can't run. You can't run. You you have treasure. Moving on the bottom Sorry. of your card, you can move, you can walk, you can rest, and you can swap items. Uh, yeah, maybe start over. So, move one. Yep. I don't take the fatigue. Right. Move one. Yep. And now, then... his ability doesn't stack continuously. Mm. No, it's... you're gonna take, take three. One... I take one less fatigue. Oh, you take two. You take it's, it's. You ignore this. Yeah. You would take three here minus one, which is two. Then you would move here and you take two, two minus, minus one, which is one. one. And then you would leave the map. And that would cost you one as well. Because you have the treasure. It's different. Yeah. And you're left with two. You put the treasure here. We're two mm -hmm. out of six now. And then I would lose three fatigue from exiting the ship. Yes. And then you have two extra actions that you can't use because your turn's over, so I get them. <laughs> and you flip over your wonderful card. Yep. Which is all... <gasps> oh, no. Yellow five zone. Oh, do we die? We die. We do. We oh. do die. So this is going to pop twice. Everything on every room would explode as well. Wow. Surrounding it. Oh no. And that would explode. Our characters and... would also, I believe, die as well. So, yeah, we literally drew the one card we should not have drawn. That mm -hmm. blew us all up, mm -hmm. and we lost both of them, thusly getting this track here, and thusly losing the game of Dead Men Ooh. Tell No Tales. Uh, two out of six treasures. <laughs> Had it been my turn, I would have been able to do, at least do these two here. Yeah. Yeah, and I got this. Well, space. I was hoping to clear this one. 
go here and get this guy here and bring it back. And then Callie would clear this mm-hmm, one mm-hmm, here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, no. Well, I mean, that's the game. That's how we have to work with our action management. And yeah, yeah there's a little bit of luck as to where the tiles go, what the numbers are going to be on, that kind of thing. And now that we understand it too, we'll better be able to use our abilities and or switch in. You can use an action as well to swap your item. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can better use better items your, for what you want to do. If I don't want this one, I can take one of these guys instead, yeah. which mm-hmm. we never even looked at. One free eliminated deckhand action per, per turn. turn. Oh, may okay. attack in a, from an adjacent room for an, for an action. And one free rest action per turn. I just made myself super strong. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, each time there is a powder keg or room explosion, move the marker um, forward one space on the track. Mm-hmm. If the marker ever reaches the skull and crossbones, the skeleton revenge explodes and you lose the game. Sad we panda love, for no. our, our, our game Dead Men Tell No Tales. We're terrible pirates. <laughs> oh, we just tried to loot a very sinking ship. And there you have it, Dead Men Tell No Tales. A tale of success. Well, actually, no. Uh, we were dead, and we were able to tell no yeah. tales about our sinking ship. Uh, but it was definitely an exciting experience, and even on the other mode to get five treasures, we still would have had some uh, we, trouble, I think. Yeah, because that's the only thing that we changes in the mode. I mean, we still have one, two, we have four more tiles left, which means there's four Before more. Before we could get the other exit. Oh, I just touched oh. the mic there. It's going to be terrible for somebody's ears. And there should be four. One, two, three, four, five. Did we not put a we didn't put a uh, token down on one of the on one of the spaces I think. Or they have five here. Or they have the little extra tokens for. Uh, oh no, I forgot to put the token out here. Ah. Uh, because it, everything exploded anyway. Because but because there were so we've been to live another treasure. So yeah. uh, but anyway, there was two more treasures and two more of these. So Castle. it's it's also luck as to whether or not we get these guys out soon enough to get these treasures. We we actually were missing two. Uh, plus, this was your last turn you didn't that do that? That was the last mm-hmm. turn, yeah. Oh, okay. So we, we had three left out of the six total. I remember... Ooh, and one, there's some eights. <laughs> yeah, two eights and a seven. And they have these guys here. And there's also a variant where you play against um, a big daddy boss over there as well, which is pretty pretty nasty. I guess you guys, you guys can't see that, but there's a lot of treasures left over. Um, but yeah, so that's the game. Uh, tell me what you guys thought about the game. Alicia, what do you think? There was no way we could win. <laughs> No way. Yeah. Not there this is. game. I mean, this one was a losing battle, but I mean, I know there are situations where you can win. There's also, <laughs> I think, I think it's also more of we made some poor choices. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But why did we leave these at five? Why didn't yeah. I use my action to put this I at a four? Used mine. Yeah. I didn't even well. think about it honestly. I didn't realize this track was going to explode so fast. Well, it was at four on my turn, mine. So I was like, oh, it's fine. This is a four, and then we got the four card, and then the five card. Mm. Bad card pulls. Uh, well, Can't... I mean, it's things you have to think about. Now we've learned from that, and we could better manage. And it. also, yeah, I think there's a bit of luck in the game too. Like we didn't get yeah. three the three treasures. Half the treasures didn't show up into the last four five tiles in the game, and there's a total of like twenty different tiles. So exactly that that makes it a bit rough. But remember, though, we're supposed to go through all these tiles because mm-hmm. the last tile will give us another exit, which is super yeah. nice. Makes uh-huh. it a little easier. You have an exit over here, where if you're already over here, you can get out quick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We can go out, but we end our turn the moment we leave, too. Mm-hmm. So we have to be careful with that. Um, but yeah, yeah what did, did you, I like. Other, other than the challenging, though, Alicia, what did you think about the game overall? Did you have fun? Was it something you try again? Yeah, it was fun. I mean, I feel like I personally did some good <laughs> turns. <laughs> He's on a trigger. Okay, well, I, who I do you think did the trigger. worst turn then? I don't know. <laughs> what do you you personally did good turns. That means yeah. the, le- the rest of us here did bad turns. Exactly. No, I'm just kidding. But, the yeah, sass is real. The, the luck aspect, I mean, we didn't get three of the treasures out, so how could we have won <laughs> Uh, Why we, we, we should have, sur- we should have survived by dice, then. Yeah. I, I spent a long time trying to get my, my bonuses too mm-hmm. for, for die rolls. I wanted to fight the I wanted to be the guy who like went and did the treasures and beat the, the guards. But in reality, you don't really need a whole lot. I mean, I had plus three. That's already yeah. enough. Like I would have liked seven, just plus one another... or something would be nice. But yeah. I mean, like when you're fighting a seven, you can push yourself to a four. I guess it only going to cost me two actions. So these are kind of like action savers, mm-hmm. these cutlasses, which mm-hmm. is why I really like them. Um, and I already had a dagger, so it made him a little stronger. But uh, I felt like my ability was really good, too. I like my ability, looking at two and picking one. Although, yeah. leaving one on top made me less happy. Yeah, but we can, knew what was coming then. Kind of mitigate a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> and I liked being able to give the actions to the next player, because 
That's mm-hmm. something I feel like in a lot of the other cooperative games where you're like, oh, if only that person could do this and this. And then this gives you a way to do that and kind of work together in that way. Those barrels then we're, were more working together. The I barrels like. were ruthless, too. Yeah. They barrels. were so, especially a barrel yeah. with a two on it. Oh, mm-hmm. I forgot to mention, we, we didn't do this at all. You can remove the dice off the board. Oh, if you remember, lower it enough. You can lower it enough because oh. there are, remember I said that there's cards They're in card here that'll put the dice that'll back put on. put dice back on. There's only a couple of them. Here's one of them. It's a it's a blank, red, yeah. just a blank red. We didn't actually do that. We brought them down to one. Yeah, we should have done and that. And I didn't think, uh, I thought okay. at the very beginning of the game because our first two cards were two blank ones, mm-hmm. which means we wouldn't have had to deal with them as much if we actually got rid of dice. We didn't do that. I think that was what mm. really crippled us. Uh-huh. Thinking back, uh-huh. we should have actually just removed them. Especially with my ability where I could. Yeah. Because you could, like, oh, you can only, remember, like, oh, I can only bring this down to one, the one on the board here. Uh-huh. You could have actually brought it to zero mm. and taken the die off because mm. die, the dice Especially will go back since on it. I have the bucket, I can reduce fire next to me. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. Jason what room. we should That's have nice. done was the lady should have been going around d- dousing everything out. Me and you should have been running around fighting. And because I can move faster, I could have picked up the treasure and moved out and just literally divide and conquered. Yeah, mm-hmm. I they think... They worked on crowd control. Uh, I think, well, because we were trying to do that, but she went, you guys went for treasure, and Callie was putting out fires, and I was attempting to get... Um, and deck hands. <laughs> and deck hands. And I was attempting to boost my stuff. The I did fire. probably the least stuff. I just killed some dudes, and like I didn't get to do much. I was waiting to get to this guy here, because we, we can't lose one treasure. If mm-hmm. one treasure goes, mm-hmm. we're out. We can't get to it then. It's gone. And, and I was hoping lose. the exit would spawn somewhere in the back here, uh, on the last tiles here. But we were running at the end of the game here. We only had four more tiles left. So I imagine people do win, just just not us. Mm-hmm. And next time, yes, Maybe reduce next time. the time. <laughs> remove these to zero. We mm-hmm. need to do that. That would have actually helped us greatly. Because yeah. then we don't suffer the effects of the fatigue either. And the explosions as much. Yep. Yeah, I totally forgot. I'm like, how do you, because I was thinking, I'm like, how do you deal with a space that has a two? two yeah. Oh, and that's because there was no die to start there. Mm-hmm. So that's three cards mm-hmm. in order to get there. But I think if we went and played this again with the same characters we currently have, we could definitely pull this off. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it's A little possible. bit of a better understanding on um, trying to get this, the management going. Oh, yeah. Quality overall, though, this game is really good. I like all the, the all the miniatures are really nice. I want to paint them. Um, the board's really nice showing your fatigue. They're actually really like, it's it's They're really sturdy. sturdy. Yeah. yeah. It feels really tight yeah. moving these. Like it'll last nice. a while. And I like the, there's kind of a sheen on the dice, pearly sheen. I it's love the Very dice. pirate themed. <laughs> Renegade usually does games that are like single, like a small party card games, mm-hmm. like little boxes mm-hmm. like the the egg game, nice. um, <laughs> the Agretsu. And this is one that's actually pretty like developed with the minis and the colors it's not the just bottom. a take that game or a um what's the other game the trick taking game this yeah. has got a good chunk a good bite to it and it's very similar to other games i've played before with but it feels very unique because there's a ton of stuff going on so if you're interested in taking a look at the game dead men tell no tales there's a link pinned in the comments or if you're watching on youtube there's a link down below in the video's description where you can go ahead and pick up this game if you uh, think it'd be something for you Go ahead and check out unfilteredgamer.com if you want some blog posts. There's also giveaways on there. We do at least one a month on mm-hmm. the website from a sponsor and a bunch of new reviews. And even ones that are not on my YouTube channel. Speaking of YouTube, if you haven't seen our videos or if you're watching here on YouTube, go ahead and check them out. There's a lot of reviewed content. We'll have a new top five coming out soon. Uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button currently on Alicia's face. And if you would like as well, <laughs> you can go ahead and follow us on Facebook or Twitter or any of those other places on Instagram. We've boosted up our forces on Instagram and Twitter up to like Yeah, there's some 000. fun fun photos and other content on Instagram. Check and, it out. and we have a secret um, TikTok, I guess, um, where it's me and my dog. We, t- we talk about board games. Um, it's <laughs> tiny. We just started doing it because um, I got a new phone. So we'll have some more content on, on there. Um, but that's pretty much all I got. Bye, Moonshell. Do it. I got some copies in the garage that need to go. And if you want to pick up a puzzle game, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I still got to get grab my deluxe. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go in the yeah, garage yeah. and get you a copy uh-huh. of that. Yeah, I, I still haven't picked it up. And if you'd like, of course, Dead Men Tale, No Tales by Renegade Games. All right, guys. That's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to seeing, seeing you guys, guys next time. time.